flight and rose above all, changed the game, and became a legend. Everything. First for the Lakers, the question is, how do you stop Jordan from pouring in basket after basket? I'm not sure they'll find an answer to that question. Yeah. Well, when it comes to Jordan, really, you can't look to stop him. You can only try to slow him down. But the other side of that equation, Clark, as you mentioned, is Magic Johnson. And he'll cause a lot of matchup problems for the Chicago defense. And it starts, Kevin, with his size. I mean, he's so tall and talented with the ball that he's a driving force of the offense. I mean, he runs the Laker offense. Chicago will probably end up putting a bigger guard on him, and then he probably look to eat up the smaller guards in the post. We might actually get to see the Jordan Magic matchup because of that. But even if that isn't the case, you can expect them to try to one-up each other, not every trip down the floor, but throughout the game. Well, this has the makings of, Clark, I think, a fantastic NBA final. I'm right with you there, partner. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Well, gentlemen, Michael Jordan has been trying to downplay the Magic versus Michael matchup, repeatedly saying it's the Bulls versus the Lakers, not just two people competing. But when he talked to the media this morning, he relented just a bit. And you can see that look in his eyes, and he knew this would be about the marquee matchup. Makes you think he's been sandbagging a little bit coming into this series, gentlemen. Thank you, Doris. And Clark, they can say it's the Lakers against the Bulls all they want, but really the world is watching Michael against Magic. Well, it's two of the best players of all time going in. I know it's a little early to say that about Jordan, but he's shown it so far. And a title would certainly help cement that claim. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Byron Scott out there with Magic Johnson. Then it's Worthy. Then it's Divac and Perkins. A shot by Jordan, no good. Jordan hasn't been sharp coming out in this one. You wonder if he's a bit nervous playing in his first NBA Finals game. Looking at Perkins here, he really stepped up big in that game six against the Blazers. You know what, the Lakers might not be here now if he didn't have that big game. 26 points, 10 of 14 shooting. He was a force in the middle. Here's Jordan following the score by James Worthy. 2.48 left in the first quarter. And then Jackson with the jam. Oh, man, now that's nasty. Bulls still looking like they're getting going. Jordan pulls, kept alive to end the drought. Cartwright gets the bucket. It took a long while to get a bucket. If they continue to score at this pace, they'll be in for a long game. Cartwright against Perkins from 17 feet out. And the Lakers tack on two more. They're really doing a nice job, a really good job of getting everything they want in this quarter. Just good, solid basketball. And the story we've seen here from the field, impressive shooting, getting off to a tremendous start. Boy, Kevin, this is the kind of offensive rhythm that can set you on a nice course. I mean, they definitely want to keep that momentum going. Just kick it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Wasn't watching the line there. That's going to be an over and back. Bill Perdue's check-in for Chicago. Armstrong comes in for John Jackson. Oh. 
So, Clark, with this series underway, how do you see the Bulls going after Magic? You know, Kevin, I think they'll play him similarly to how they played Isaiah in the previous round. Send a lot of doubles his way. Try to get the ball out of his hands right away. I think you'll see some traps in the half court. And um, Chicago, I think, will extend its defense overall to force him to pass the ball quicker and sooner. All Magic sound passes. ideas. Yep. Magic looks just as great as he did in that game six so far. Bulls trail by eight. Here's Armstrong. And uh, let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have for us? Well, as usual, when oh, one team has significant rest, there is a question about rust. Six days off for the Bulls who haven't played since Monday, while the Lakers are rested but have played on Thursday. I asked Coach Phil Jackson about this, and he said they're going to have to look to rebuild momentum a little bit. But the camaraderie is still there. Sounds like he's a bit concerned about his team's sharpness in this one. We'll see how it plays, guys. Great stuff, Doris. Thank you. And having not played in a week, that could affect the Bulls. It could a bit. But for the finals, you know this team is prepared and really ready to go. I think they're chomping at the bit. So I don't think the time off will be as much of a factor as some think. The Lakers making a switch here. Here's Johnson. Clark, what are some of the initial strategies we can expect from these two teams? You know, I think they'll want to start off the same way, Kev. Get the ball low into the post to get their big fellas on the roll early. And then if they can do that, it sets them up in their half-court game. Here's Armstrong, pass to Jordan. Hits the quick shot. Jordan's got his first points in this one. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. Now Purdue, Rob. And even though they have an early lead, they need to focus on squeezing the arm. The 10-footer, the shot by Jordan, no good. You got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Johnson, and off the glass as he lays that one up and in. Johnson's got eight points, and Magic Johnson has really come alive now. The shot's good from Jordan. Here's Johnson. He's got eight. Tipped. Now Armstrong. Fires the three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. DJ Armstrong! Here comes Magic. No good. A high scoring game here right out of the gates. Lakers lead by three. Kevin, they're off. Not that you would expect much different. But Magic Johnson was huge in that game six. 25 points, and he did an outstanding job of carrying the offense. He also had 11 boards and eight assists, too, Kevin. So with Worthy sitting on the bench, this is Mike Dunleavy's lineup. Perkins out there with d -Bots. Then it's Magic Johnson and Davis. Jordan. Here's Johnson. And Clark back to Magic. That's pretty much what you've come to expect from him in the playoffs. Near triple-double. Yeah, that's what he does. I mean, he's such a terrific player. And he's had to carry a little more of the load this time around. But he's been more than up to the task so far. Chicago trailing here. Deflects the pass. The break is off. Divac kicks to Johnson. Smith against Jordan. Kept alive. And here's Perkins. Outside, Davis. Bill Cartwright grabs the rebound. They've trailed the entire game now, a chance to jump on ahead. Armstrong with it. Livingston. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Armstrong against Smith. 
Johnson against Armstrong. And Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got 10 points. You think back to the last game of the Detroit series, and Jordan was just a huge factor. Yeah, he was very much on top of his game. 11 of 17 shooting, 29 points. And that was just the beginning. He was a man on a mission and completely silenced that Detroit crowd. High post, D-Box. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Six points for him. Here's Armstrong. Just over three minutes left in the second. Jordan against Divac. Bulls trail by three. Out a piece of it. Here's Jordan. The shot misses. And the Lakers go with it the other way. He just hasn't been able to get on track in this game. Not like he would like to. He's a much better shooter than he's shown. He has almost supernatural bouncing ability. He can bounce right out of the building. <laughs> Only a handful of players have that kind of athleticism, Clark. The break is on. From deep. And Davis can't get it to go. And it's the Bulls with the ball. It's a five-point game. The break is up. Perkins. Outside Jordan. Picked up by Davis. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got eight points. Lakers leading by three. And the Lakers call time here. Both teams deciding to change it up. Looking at Pippen, he didn't have a great game per se in that game before clinch, but he was all over the box score nevertheless. And that's really what Pippen does, Kevin. Look at the stat sheet, 23 points. He was only 7 of 18 shooting, but he helped out with 10 assists, and he really helped facilitate the Bulls' offense. Here's Scott looking for his first bucket of the game. You know, that's a good job of getting the ball down low like that. I mean, those are hard to stop from that range. Here's Paxson. 142 left in the half. And back to Pippen's game four, Clark, for a moment. He also helped with the rebound. He only came up with six. That's still a good number and plays a big role. The Pistons are full of outstanding rebounders. And Scotty helped crash the boards in that game. And really, the whole team did a good job on the backboard for Chicago. Here's Perkins. Corbett snatches the rebound. Bulls trail by three. Worthy against Jordan. Pivots, that's good. That's exactly the way you practice. Hit the open man for the great look. And here are the Bulls now. Trailing by five. Scott against Jordan. Defended by Scott. Shots good. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. Clark seeing Worthy out there. He's moving so much better than he was against Portland. Yeah, he really is, Kevin. I mean, he just wasn't himself with that injury. In a big game like that, you know if he's healthy, he's putting up more than eight points. We'll see what the coach has drawn up. Will they on for the quick shot? Let's go with the three. That doesn't go either for Jordan. Lakers leading by five. Goes up, and the one the chain to finish. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender and try to make him give up the ball. Here's Paxson. 23 seconds left in the second. Right side, Jordan. Releases from 15, and the Bulls tack on two more. Here's Johnson. They'd be smart to hold it now for the last shot. Paxson. Kept alive. Another shot. Perkins with the bucket. Perkins got six points. Snares the offensive rebound, then sends it home. It's been a tough quarter right now. They can't seem to get into any kind of rhythm or flow. They just keep giving the ball away. Just much too sloppy play so far. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Check out the game for Johnson. He's got ten points and one assist. Lakers on top. They lead by seven. Here's Paxson. 
Outside Jordan. Here is Paxson. From deep, Worthy gets the rebound. Looking at this Bulls team, Clark, their role players have really stepped up this season. They certainly have, and they're a big part of why the Bulls have made it to the finals, Kevin. Really, every team that makes it this far have Velcro guys, I call them, who know what they're doing, understand their roles, and accept them. Cartwright is out there with Grant. That's Michael Jordan. That's John Paxson and Pippen. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Clark, what should you watch as Jordan checks up Magic? Well, one thing to keep an eye on is his hands, Kevin. Not so much on the ball as away from it. He always keeps them up and in the past has deflected a lot of passes intended for Magic. Really anticipating the pass and playing defense before Magic even gets the ball. The 10-footer. Another miss by Worthy. And so here is Chicago. 11-point game. Now Cartwright with the shot. And the Bulls with another miss. Boy, they appear to be a little tight after halftime. Worthy kicks to Johnson. Oh! And smash down. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Worthy against Paxson. Here's Perkins. The rebound by Paxson. When you settle for that kind of shot, that's a wasted possession. That is not a high percentage look. Michael to shoot. And Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got 14. Well, that's a start. They get one to go down finally, but now they need to build on it to keep the momentum going. And the Lakers call time here. Making a switch here, the Bulls. Armstrong's checked in. Here's Johnson. He's got 12. Here's Perkins. Scooped up. d -bounce. And a great second effort right there. 10 points for him. You have to block this guy out, Kevin. He's just too active on the boards to be left alone. Looking at Scotty Pippen, Clark, he's a huge reason why the Bulls are here in their first NBA final. Yeah, I really think he's the most important reason. I mean, we know all about Jordan, but the play of Scotty Pippen. He made the jump to being an all-star this year. He's averaging over 17 points a game, chipping in with assists and rebounds and excellent defense and steals. Uh, he's been an all-around force and a tremendous compliment to Michael Jordan. And the Lakers have possession. After the three-pointer from Scottie Pippen, here's Armstrong. 2.21 left in the third. Boy, the turnovers are piling up pretty quickly here. We've seen them doing quite a bit of sloppy ball handling. Mm -hmm. That's their third turnover in this quarter. These turnovers can pile up, like you were saying, Clark, and when you cough up the rock, you're forfeiting possessions. Empty trips, we call them, Kevin, and that's exactly what they've been doing right now. You've got to be aware of where the defense is, and you also have to be ready to be patient and make good decisions with the basketball. Pass to Worthy. Shoots over Pippen. Another miss by Worthy. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Here's Jordan. It's rebounded by Johnson. Kevin, that's the kind of shot you want. You can't ask for better execution <coughs> offense. Sometimes they just don't fall. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Here's Armstrong. Six points for him. Good if it goes. 18 feet away, and the Bulls tuck on two more. He's been extremely active out there, and he has the stats to prove. Terrific hustle. These Bulls can really get out and run, Clark. That's really the strength of their game in my mind. They have two wingmen in Jordan and Pippen who can finish like nobody else. And they've got enough guys that can handle the ball where it makes getting a fast break going easy for this Bulls team. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Back to Pippen. And it's a defensive three-second violation. At the line for the Bulls. B.J. Armstrong, shooting in one. Yeah. 
and it's off. So for the Bulls, Purdue comes in for Bill Cartman, and it's Paxson in for B.J. Armstrong. And the Lakers making a change here. Here's Paxson. Outside Jordan. Takes it up. Here's Paxson. Two on the clock. Well, you can see the frustration here in the second half, especially on the heels of playing so well in the first. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for. Him. If they want to go two for one, they'll have to speed it up. Paxson against Johnson. Here's Worthy. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Assisted by. Worthy's got eight points. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. Johnson against Paxson. And then Jackson with the jam. Oh, man. Now that's nasty. Here's Paxson. Outside Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. He played through three in the double-digit game going on here. Check out the game for Johnson. He has four. Here's Smith. This is Mike Dunleavy's lineup. Perkins out there with Worthy. And there's Byron Scott and Jones. Here is Purdue. Byron Scott will see a lot of Jordan throughout this series. Yeah, he will. And anybody who does that certainly has their hands full when you try to D up Michael Jordan. No knock on Byron. I mean, he's a good defender. It's just the toughest matchup you can draw as a perimeter defender. They retain possession. Jones, no luck. Bulls trail by nine. It's tipped. Outside Jordan. Again, Chicago. Clark, thinking back to what you said about Scott on Michael Jordan, his offensive game might be affected as well because of Bruce Gardner. I think that's certainly the case. I mean, not only is he going to have to be worried about him on both ends, but he's going to be worn out trying to keep up with and chase Michael Jordan around. But if he can do his job on defense, I don't think it really matters as much if he scores or not. Here's Paxson. Dumps it off. Jordan. That doesn't go either for Jordan. They're getting it done on the glass today, Kevin. Nice advantage here on the inside. Here's Paxson. Smith with it. Under four minutes left to the fourth. Worthy the pass to Smith. Back to Worthy. From the low block. Well, he gives up some height, but he didn't give up the rock. Nice four. Way too many turnovers from him in this one, Kevin. Smith outside. The tray kept alive. Second shot opportunity. Nice shot by Worthy. And the Lakers lead by 11. He's starting to pick up his game in this half. And again, Chicago. No good. Smith kicks to Perkins. The dump off. Smith outside. Jacks up a three. And that one's good. Smith's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Chicago. They trail by 14. One thing about the Chicago team, Clark, they have great ah! spacing on offense. Yeah, they really do a nice job in that part of the game. And part of it is they know the system so well. Each player on the floor knows exactly where his four teammates should be. 
and his teammates are always in the right position. I mean, they've got tremendous chemistry. That's why they're effective offensively. Oh, you pick up on that chemistry. That's big with you. It's very big. Assist from Here's Scott. Scott missing again. 2-0-1 left in the game from deep Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Now Perkins. And here is Scott over Jordan. Scott, good. It's always a pleasure to watch a great shooter go to work. Give him a little elbow room, and it's automatic. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Paxson. Outside Pippen. Shoots a three. No good. And it's the Lakers taking it the other way. Right now, boy, they're playing strong on the glass. Plus eight in rebound. A challenging stretch here for Chicago. It's a 16-point game. Scott against Jordan. And again, Chicago. No good. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Here's Scott. Scott missing again. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Man, are they playing aggressively on defense. He's picked up by Jordan. Slams it through. Way to close out an opponent. Kevin, I think we're done here. Here's Paxson. And the Bulls with another miss. That was crazy. Nutso shots like that will get you on the bench in a hurry, Kevin. Here's D Bucks. And it's Cartwright with the rebound. Here's Chicago. They trail by 18. Here's Jordan. Buries it from 14 feet. Jordan's got 22 points. Here's Johnson. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Pass to Worthy. Here's Scott. Rebound, Grant. And so here is Chicago. Less than a minute remaining now. Looks like this one's all but done, Kev. The lob was a little misjudged, and he couldn't get control of it. And here is Jordan. Good from the high post. 24 points for him. Here's Johnson. And that's the end of it. The Lakers steal game one here in Chicago and take the early lead in the series one zip. Great performance from L.A. Boy, and if you're a Lakers fan, Kevin, this is exactly the kind of start you wanted. They already took one here in Chicago, and after game two, they'll...